Welcome, children. Time to learn about how the dead come back to life. Okay, so everyone knows that once we're dead, we're dead. There's no coming back from it. Now, depending on your religion, you might be headed to some other plane of existence or return as a different living thing. But in any event, death is always the end of our earthbound lives, right? Well, as it turns out, there are a number of people who simply refuse to let a little thing like death get them down. That's right, there are literally people who came back to life. And they each have quite the story to tell. So get ready because these are 10 dead people who came back to life. Number one is Brighton Damazanth. I bet when many of you picture people coming back to life, you imagine a horde of zombies rising up and people running in horror. Well, you're definitely not alone as you're about to find out. On May 6, 2013, after battling an illness for several years, 34-year-old transport worker Brighton Damazanth of Zimbabwe was declared dead. The following day, as friends and family filed past his coffin, Xanth woke up, which shocked some funeral attendees so much that they fled in terror, fearing that the dead were rising. After being rushed to the hospital, Xanth was put on life support and two days later miraculously went home to his family claiming that he felt fine now. Okay, zombies are real, I'm out. Number two is Kelvin Santos. If you thought that previous story was creepy, get yourself a blanket because this one's gonna give you the chills. At the tender age of two years old, Kelvin Santos developed pneumonia and was rushed to a hospital in Belém, Brazil. But unfortunately, he was declared dead. Devastated, Kelvin's family brought him home and had an open casket wake for the boy overnight. The next day, an hour before the funeral was to commence, the toddler sat up suddenly. Looking to his father, Kelvin asked, Daddy, can I have some water? Ugh, that's weird. He did this in front of his entire flabbergasted family before casually laying back down again. Screaming in shock, the family scrambled to the boy's side only to find him once again deceased, this time permanently. Doctors could not explain how this miracle occurred and still can't to this day. Oh God, that gave me the wicked heebie-jeebies. This is like some real life 28 days later stuff. Number three is Anne Green. In December of 1650, 22-year-old Anne Green was wrongfully sentenced to death for the murder of her own child, who had actually been stillborn. To make her death quick, Anne requested that her friends actually pull down on her while she hanged and strike her body, which they did, to make sure that she was dead. The prison doctor declared her deceased and her body was moved to Oxford University to be dissected by medical students. Students. But uh, yeah, you know where this is going. The very next day, moments before the dissection took place, Oxford physicians found Anne had a faint pulse and after undergoing various treatments was revived. Considering the event an act of God, Anne Green was granted a free pardon for her crimes. Well, if you ever want to get off the hook for robbing something or stealing something, just die and come back to life. Get out a deal free card, bruh. Number four is Carlos Camillo. On September 17, 2007, 33-year-old Carlos Camillo of Venezuela was pronounced dead after a severe highway accident. But Matt, what happened? He was taken to the morgue where an autopsy was performed on him. After making an incision in the man's face, the examiners noticed a lot of bleeding, which was very unusual for deceased bodies. Then suddenly, Camillo woke up screaming, the excruciating pain overwhelming him. Doctors quickly stitched up his face and moved him to the outer corridor where his grieving wife, thinking herself now a widow, arrived to identify his body. To her shock, her husband was very much alive with a fresh facial scar as a souvenir of his ordeal. Oh my god. I hope that when I die, I actually die because I don't want my face cut up. Number five is Marjorie McCall, also known as the lady with the ring or the lady who once lived and was buried twice. Marjorie McCall was prematurely buried in 1705 after a doctor declared her dead due to a fever. Now, according to Irish lore, McCall was buried with her very expensive ring on her finger, which was apparently valuable enough to grave robbers to dig her up and steal it. Upon exhuming the body, the thieves found her fingers had swelled too much to get the ring off and decided to cut it off. However, as soon as they began cutting the finger from McCall's hand, she awoke screaming, which terrified the robbers who immediately fled. She then went home to her husband, John, as if nothing happened. Honey, I'm home. I was just dead, it's no big deal. What are you up to tonight? Number six is Luz Milgados Veron. 
On April 3rd, 2012, Luis Milgados was born in Argentina, three months premature and without signs of life. The one pound, 12 ounce baby was declared dead by both a gynecologist and a neonatal doctor. The corpse was transferred to a cold morgue refrigerator of the hospital. Nearly 12 hours later, the mother, Anelia, asked to see the daughter one last time. The tiny coffin that the corpse was in had to be pried open with a crowbar, and as soon as it was, the baby inside started crying very much alive. Dubbed Argentina's miracle baby, Luz Milgado's survival defied logic by not only being born without vital signs, but also surviving a freezer for half a day. Sadly, however, 14 months later, the toddler did pass away due to multiple organ failures, but she was loved by millions throughout her short life. I don't know if there's someone above or not, but that kind of a story makes you wonder. Number seven is Val Thomas. On May 17th, 2008, after her heart stopped beating due to multiple attacks, 59-year-old Val Thomas was brought to Charleston, West Virginia Hospital. More than 17 hours passed without Val showing any brain activity and she was pronounced brain dead. Kept on a ventilator to preserve her body as rigor mortis had begun to set in, Val's family were discussing organ donation and allowing doctors to discontinue life support when suddenly she started speaking to the nurses. She was considered a medical miracle by her doctors who simply cannot explain how she pulled herself from death. Ultimately, Val was given a clean bill of health health from specialists soon after the ordeal. Val's story brought about new debates on the criteria for proving brain death. That freaks me right out. The whole idea of like dying but I'm not really dead and people bury me being buried alive. Oh my god. Nope. Number eight is Fagaliu Mukametsanov. Normally, people pass away and then there's a funeral. But in the case of 49-year-old Fagel Yu, the two happened at the same time. Much like many people on this list, this person was wrongfully declared dead by her doctors, in her case, after suffering a heart attack in her home, Kazan, Russia. Awaking in her coffin back in June of 2011, the woman panicked and began screaming as she heard mourners praying for her soul, the stress bringing about another heart attack, this one actually taking her life. Sadly, her husband, Fagili, only had 12 minutes with his resurrected wife before she passed. Man, I am so glad that health science has made strides since then. Wait, this is 2011. Oh Lord! Number 9 is Ludomilia Stebelitskia. It would seem that Siberian grandmother Ludomilia wasn't content just coming back from the dead once. Oh no, she did it twice. The first time it happened back in November of 2011 when she was pronounced dead after going into a hospital very sick on a Friday. The funeral, set for the following Monday, had to be rapidly cancelled minutes before it began when Ludomilia suddenly woke up after spending the entire weekend in a freezing morgue. Then in October of 20. 2012, the woman died again after complications arose during another hospital stay, only to come back to life in front of amazed doctors. Well, some people are just stubborn, aren't they? <sighs> You're dead, lady. Oh no, I don't want to die. Oh, God. Hate those people. And number 10 is Jesus Christ. Let's close out this list with the granddaddy of resurrection, the most famous person to ever be recorded to rise from the dead, Jesus Christ. Now, regardless of your religious beliefs, Christ's existence is historical fact, and his resurrection is a tale as possible as the rest of the ones that we're talking about today. After being crucified, Christ's body was entombed, but the following Sunday, a group of women found the tomb empty. A number of Jesus' disciples wrote about the experience that they had with the Man after his apparent death, and the Christian faith has grown based on stories of his return to life. Well, whether you explain it on religion or whether you explain it on crazy madman science like the rest of these experiences, it's just banana sandwich. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out my sources in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by clicking that like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button so that you can catch my next video. If you want to watch my daily vlogs, there's a link to my vlog channel that you can click right there. And if you want to watch my gaming videos, there's a link to my gaming channel that you can click right there. And of course, all of these links as well as my socials are in the description below. And that's it. Have a great day, guys. I hope you are smiling. Take care. See you next time. Bye.